Hey everybody, I'm Robert. This is Jack. We're from Legends Promotions, and you're watching the beat. This is Jacqueline Tacarante. I am here with my friends Jack and Robert from Legends Promotions as we're here at the College of Staten Island for their annual showcase. So talk to us about really what Legends Promotions is because y'all have been around for a while doing some major iconic events. Uh, Robert, you started Legends Promotions, what, about seven years ago? Yeah, it's been about seven years, and we mainly do it to raise money for charity, Wounded Warriors. And uh, we have a little fun doing it, and we always have great performers, all originals, no tribute groups, and we just do a great job, if I must say so myself. Well, they're good shows. Al uh, does a real good job of putting the talent together, and they really are good shows, fantastic shows. You're missing something if you don't come to our shows. So tonight's just not a regular performance that's happening at CSI. There's something spectacular. So talk to me about what's going on. Well, today is the uh, anniversary of Johnny Maestro passing. And I'm sure when the people in the audience hear the music, they're going to think of him and he's going to be looking down on us and smiling. Well, we're going to have a show right here on October 13th. And then we're going to have Johnny Maestro's Brooklyn Bridge. So come on out on October 13th to this location. Enjoy the show. We're also going to have a show on May 12th. It's the night before Mother's Day. So everybody goes out for Mother's Day in Rawway, New Jersey, right over the bridge. Come on out. Enjoy that show as well. We try to, to try to get as, as uh, you know four or five big acts on the show. And this way, you know, the, the people want to see that. Yeah, so we, and we keep the we keep the guys working. Like tonight, with Terry Johnson is here. He's a, he's a rock and roll hall of famer. Oh my God! For the flamingos. Yeah, so you have to follow. You have to buy your tickets for Legends Promotions. There's so many upcoming events, and make sure that there's two shows that are coming up. There's one the day before Mother's Day, and when's the second one? The second one is October 13th. We're going back to the 60s here. You'll get your tickets for Legends Promotions. Next big show here at the college. It's a a big night, oh, yeah. Vito. Oh yeah. Right. I'm looking forward. I mean, Dennis Stefano is on that. I just hung up with him about right? an hour ago. Gary yeah. Lewis. And, and I just, well, I was just on a cruise with Gary. Just, uh, uh, what an incredible show yeah, it's going to uh, be. You're hosting it. Uh, and yep. 60 years of Little Star. That's that's the most amazing thing. I mean, I was 16 years old. That's right. You know, we came out of South Beach. We started on the boardwalk. And, you know, if somebody would have told me that uh, even a year, two years, we would have got out, I would have been shocked. Thank you so much, my friend. Vito Paco, ladies and gentlemen, check him out on Facebook. You can check him out right here in October for the next big Legends promotion show. And more importantly, check your local listings for Staten Island CTV for when he's letting the good times roll. Y'all know doo-wop. Y'all know how to sing. And so y'all keep mentioning this song. So what's the song, Vinny and Dan? Well, what's the song you want me to do? Well, first of all, who said I could sing? I think you can sing. <laughs> no, 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 no. My Vinny can sing. Oh. I cannot sing, but it's Johnny Maestro's hit, which was uh, just an iconic song that will last decades and decades. Baby, if he loves you more than me, maybe it's the best thing. Maybe it's the best thing for you, but it's the worst that could happen to me. Yeah, I can't that's sing. Awesome. <laughs> I could lip sync, so I could be behind you someday should you ever need someone to just do this. Do well, the well, that's a little thing. shout out to Johnny. Today's the eighth anniversary yes. of his passing, yes. but we have so many legends that have worked with him, myself included. I opened for him. Why don't you guys come inside right now? I'm about to go on stage for a sound check. Okay, let's go. I had a band called Jekyll and the Hides back in 1966. And our drummer left, there was only three of us, and I approached a, another drummer friend, and he had a guitar player, and the five of us then formed a band, which ultimately became the Fruit Gum Company. But then we were found by a record company and a producer, Kazanitz and Katz, and so they gave us the name 1910 Fruit Gum Company. That was in the fall of 1967, uh, just a little over 50 years ago. Now we had this song given to us, and we took it home, and we looked at it, and so then we came up with the idea, Let's take the bass and the organ part from Wooly Bully. The boom, 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 and Wooly Bully, and the da, 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 da. And let's throw that in this song and see what happens. And that's how Simon Says was born. So would you say that out of all the Fruit Gum records, that's your favorite one? It holds a special place for me because 
I think without it, there may have been nothing else. So it kind of was where we began. People that are keeping the music alive like Legends Promotions. Um, what would you want to say to fans out there that are watching that might not have seen you guys in person yet that hold a special place in the 1910 story and all that good stuff? Come on out. We're waiting to uh, show you a great time. We think we do a good show and we think that you'll really, really enjoy it. Tons of fun doing these shows, I can't tell you. So Simon says, follow the 1910 Fruit Gum Company and keep up on them. You got it? Okay, good. All these years later, is it more important now than it was back then and why? It's always very important. Every day is important. Every lyric, every melody is important. What could you tell people that are watching this um, about Legends Promotions? The Legends Promotions brings back all that music uh, from those that era with the groups that did those songs back in the day. Do you uh, ever occasionally, sometimes I see on Dion's live Facebook feed, sometimes I'll see you guys all singing still together and getting together and doing some acapellas and stuff. How yeah. often do you get to see him? We did a show down in Florida in Boca Raton where he lives and we met for lunch and he started singing The Wanderer and automatically the whole group just tuned in and just started singing with him. You are the man, Stan Zitzk, everybody. Hmm, I don't know, Jacqueline, we should pick one of the three colors, right? I'll, I'll figure it out, and you wanna know what I should wear. Well, then you should've bought a ticket to this particular production tonight, but you know what, it's okay, because Legends Promotions, they are your hookup for all these shows that come to the area. You definitely wanna check them out, like Legends Promotions on Facebook, and we wanna thank them so much for allowing us to take you behind the curtain tonight and show you what it's all about. Speaking of following on social media, you can follow Follow us at JMT The Beat. We want to thank you so much for watching. And uh, I have to get dressed because the show starts in about 10 minutes. I'm singing and hosting, and that means you got to go. But in the meantime, on your way out, make sure you don't skip a beat. Here's my story, sad but true. That's it. The rest of you have to come to the show to see. Oh, I was like, one bad girl I once knew. There you go. She took my love and ran around with every single guy in town. Hey, 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 oh, hey, hey, oh, hey, 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 the guy that really recorded that song, so I'm not going to step on those toes right there. Oh my God.